Welcome to the channel. In this short video, we are going to explain a feature in OneDrive that we have never looked at before. It's something called the Personal Vault. So we have other videos, and we'll put a link in the top right hand corner explaining how to set up OneDrive. If you want to have it back up your desktop and you want to be able to restore files that you've deleted and so on and so forth. But the point of this video is that Personal Vault. Now, as you can see here, we have a folder called Personal Vault. And you may have looked at that before and said, I don't know what the hell that is. I'm not touching it. Yeah, well, that makes some sense. But it might be something you want to look at. Now, what the Personal Vault is, is a folder that allows you to have additional security for highly sensitive documents. Things like your tax documents, perhaps your will, your ID, like a passport or driver's license, things like that. Anything that's super sensitive, you might want to put in the personal vault. Here's why. The personal vault encrypt the data that is stored in it, even when it's on your local hard drive, even if you don't have your hard drive encrypted. It will use a technology from Microsoft called BitLocker to encrypt that. So let's say you travel with a laptop and the laptop gets stolen. Somebody may get into that laptop and look through your folders and look at that sensitive uh, data, but they can't if it's stored in the personal vault. Another thing that it will do is it will set up two-factor authentication or sometimes called multi-factor authentication, but only for that folder. A lot of people look at multi-factor authentication as a pain because they, you know, that, that's when the system sends you a text or you have to use an app to verify who you are and they just consider it a pain. But you might consider it to be worth your effort when it is related to something as sensitive as things you'd keep in the personal vault. And this does not affect, this multi-factor authentication does not affect the rest of OneDrive. It's just the files kept in the personal vault. And just before we set up the personal vault, there's something you need to know. If you are like us and you have a corporate OneDrive, you know, on, a, on an E3 or an E5, something like that, you don't have the personal vault. This is only for consumers, people with the home version of Microsoft Office Online now called Microsoft 365. So what we've done is we've gone and logged into our OneDrive, which is just onedrive.live.com, scrolled down, and this is using our personal account that we don't actually use very much, and you see here this personal vault. And if you click on it, it comes up and it says, hmm, you need to uh, set some stuff up. Now, if you click on it and things just go badly, close whatever pops up, and click the cog in the top right-hand corner, click Options, and go to personal vault and make sure that it's set up using verify identity. We will go back and just set it up the normal way. So you click on it for the first time and it says, hmm, we have to verify who you are. We already have our email account set up to be used with the Microsoft Authenticator, but if you don't, it's super easy. You go to your app store and you download the Microsoft Authenticator, then you uh, launch the authenticator and it will immediately come up and say did you want to add something and if you and of course you do uh, And you'll be prompted to scan a QR code very simple as I said we already have it set up So I'm going to go into my Microsoft authenticator and I have mine set up to require my fingerprint and There is the code and I can just simply click approve And bingo I'm in now. I have nothing in here so let's say I thought this graphic that I worked on for our sister site, issueslab.com, was super sensitive. I can simply drag this file right in and drop it. And it will immediately be added. It will be encrypted and it will be protected. And I can add as many files as I want to this and folders for that matter. Now, if you're using the free version, you're only allowed to put three files in here but most people will have subscribed and then you can put an unlimited number of files and folders in here. Now we can go in and we can configure the personal vault. By default, the personal vault locks after 20 minutes. And when I say locks, it just means that it requires you to enter your two-factor authentication again after 20 minutes, but you can easily change that if you want. You simply go down to your OneDrive icon in your, on your computer, right click on it and select settings, 
and then click on the account settings. And in here, you will see a setting for your personal vault. I don't see it because this OneDrive is actually set up for my corporate account, as I mentioned earlier. I have a Microsoft E3 as I'm a Microsoft partner, and so I don't have access to the personal vault in the usual way that you do. But you will see the personal vault timeout right here. Now, just before we let you go, there are two more things that are important to know about the Microsoft OneDrive personal vault. Firstly, if you set up the OneDrive app on your phone, you can scan or take photographs of documents or photos, whatever you want, and send them directly to the personal vault. That's a nice feature. And the last thing that's important for absolutely everybody is that the personal vault receives additional scrutiny from Microsoft's security team. What they're looking for are mass deletions. So if everything in that folder gets deleted or encrypted, uh, you know, double encrypted, a ransomware attack, or there's suspicious activity. Say you are not of Russian or Chinese descent, and all of a sudden Microsoft sees logins that are connecting to your personal vault from Russia or China. That activity is going to be flagged and possibly blocked. All of the documents that you want to keep highly secure that you really don't want to be out floating around the internet with some hacker that's going to come after you or resell that data to somebody else that's going to come after you. The personal vaults are an easy way to protect that data to keep you safe. So hey, if you found this video useful, please give us the big thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. Subscribe and comments always appreciated as well. And if you have any questions or concerns, you can get a hold of us directly at www.urtech.ca. That's www.urtech.ca. So thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.